Windows 10 will stop its support on October 14, 2025, which is just around the corner. But what if I told you that you can keep on using your Windows 10 up to 2032? Yeah, legit with all the updates, fixes, support and so on. It's easy. Let's go for it. We usually know Windows 10 or Windows 11, Home Edition or Pro Edition, but there are several versions, one of which is the IoT LTSC. And LTSC means long-term servicing channel. There are two versions. One will provide support up to five years and the other one will support up to 10 years, which is the version that we will be installing today. And I'll be sharing with you the easiest way to use it. Well, to use it, you don't need, but to install and get everything ready for the updates up to 2032. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated it and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. Now, the main difference from Windows 10 or 11 Home Edition or Pro Edition to the IoT LTS see is that this version right over here is a Windows 10 or 11 if you decide to go with the 11 version that it's completely stripped down is a tiny version of Windows 10 or Windows 11 designed for systems that don't want all that crap installed since the beginning like Windows 11 or 10 Home Edition and Pro Edition and you just need to run one software on your commercial space or house or something like that and you want a stable version of Windows so this is it that's the biggest difference you will not find any Cortana, you will not find the Windows Store, you won't find all that crap that we find when we install Windows. So let's go open our browser and if you search for Windows 10 IoT LTSC you will find many links one of which will be for the Microsoft official site and you will find that you can download but it's a trial version so we will have 90 days and after that we will be forced to pay a recurring monthly fee and we don't want that we just want a normal key that will allow us to pay once as low as possible below 10 years if possible i will let you know how totally legit and everything will be activated with all the microsoft services and updates and so on but using a cheap license so let's go to our browser once again and instead of going to the windows microsoft official site let's search for windows 10 iot ltsc and we can download the ISO, which is a full ISO from the Internet Archive or Mass Grave. These are original ISOs of the full version without any subscription. So we just need to download the ISO and then we will download Roofer so that we can create the installation USB drive, install it and drag the ISO into Rufus. Now I just need to insert the USB drive, click on start and it will create the installation USB stick in just a few minutes. Now let's plug that USB stick into the PC where you want to install Windows 10 LTSC. Let's boot the PC and press F2 or delete to enter our BIOS. Inside the BIOS set it to boot from the USB stick. Now when Windows installer screen appears just choose the IoT LTSC version, which is the one that will give us support until 2032. The rest of the installation is just like the classic Windows 10 setup, which to be honest, I haven't installed Windows 10 in a while, but it's super similar. So in about five minutes or so, we will reach the configuration screen. We just need to choose our settings. And yes, Windows 10 still let us keep Microsoft accounts logged in, which is really, really cool without doing any tricks like we do on Windows 11. Now, Windows 10 IoT is, is installed, but it's not activated yet, which means that we can't change icons or get proper support. So let's find a legit activation key for 110 euros. Let's go to the CDK Sales website. I will leave the link down below. Add Windows 10 IoT LTSC to our cart. And before checking out, use the discount code RJCK to save almost five euros. I believe that it's 30%, so this will depend on what we will get. And once we buy the key, we will receive it right away. We just need to copy, 
paste into the activation window and that's it simple as this windows is now activated and in the past we have tested several windows and office keys this way and they all work fine in fact office keys are different from the windows om versions because we keep it aggregated to our microsoft account so on office i will be able to install on this computer or another computer or any other computer that i do have on the OAM side, which is the disadvantage or the biggest disadvantage that I do find is that I did activate it on this computer. So that particular key will be activated only here. I will not be able to use it on any other computer. So if one day I do sell this computer, the license will go with the computer. But taking that aside, which I don't see it as a big issue, it's an OAM license. That's why it's so cheap. It's aggregated to this particular computer and that is it. But at this moment it's activated so we can install all the updates and keep using it safely until 2032 but if you are going to use up to 2032 you need to start thinking about you will have some time but what is the alternative if you don't want to go to windows 11 by some reason and i do respect that actually i've been getting a lot of requests from users of windows 10 that don't want to go to windows 11 for many reasons and want to keep windows 10 and that led me to do this particular video but we have also seen some other operating systems on the Linux side on Mac OS if you want to go that way but I would say that Linux has a lot of options I did share quite a few here on the channel I will try to leave some links down below so we need to find a solution by 20 32. Hopefully this video was helpful so that you can delay that time and you can test out several operating systems and see which one fits you best. If that was the case, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.